Hi, I'm Susan. Welcome to my home and studio at Wendy Acre Cottage. It's a hundred year old craftsman cottage where I love to paint and garden and entertain and care for all my wonderful fur babies, both those that are adopted and all the little fosters. It's also my home base for many fun adventures of the art, history, and gardening kind. Good morning, artists. You might see I've got a tea bag in front of me. I haven't done this since last June, and I really missed it. I was quite in the habit of, of painting a little tea bag art every day, and um, I had some friends move in with me between houses, and um, little little things like this just kind of put to the side. But I was reminded this week that um, they're fun to do and they're fun to see, and so we just pulled it back out. I've already got my palette set up. And um, I was gifted with quite a few of these. I don't know if you can see that. That's the Amsterdam brand. And um, got some red, orange, yellow, yellow ochre, green. I'm not sure what this color is. I just blurbed it everywhere. So um, it's kind of a phthalo turquoise color. And then I've got a um, purple. You know what I don't have is black. And I'm going to have to put, let me see, what is this color? Um, I can't make out, what, oh, here it is, indigo. So we're going to put out a little indigo, and we'll have to mix our own black using indigo, and maybe some green, maybe some red. But, oh, I love indigo. In fact, I hope to, hope to grow some this year. What I don't have in the acrylic uh, inks, are the is the white and so i'm just using regular white acrylic paint <coughs> excuse me so what i've done so far is i found a reference photo that i liked of some poppies and i just kind of roughly sketched out um the shape i can barely see it myself because when you're using pencil on a stained tea bag it's about the same value so it's hard to see um but i'd still rather do that and have some sort of road map Instead of just sitting down and painting without a road map. Because no telling, no telling what would happen. So let's get a paper towel. And get started. I'm just going to use a regular um, watercolor paintbrush. Just something little. And let's see what we got here. And I think I'm going to start with the orange. even work a little yellow in there especially in places where the sun's coming through And since it is actually a red, I like it. 
not only do I think I like it, but I think I want to paint it in watercolor a little bit bigger and maybe use it as a reference painting for a future class. I know it's kind of hard to see it at this point. Let's see if I can pull it up. We don't have the light on it very well. There we go. Anxious to see what it looks like once it's dry. Simple, easy, fast. There's no reason why you can't paint a painting every single day using just a few acrylic inks and uh, just a tea bag. Keep those brushes wet, artists. I want to see your work.